Hello, I'm Rod Pinkston, and welcome to another episode of Jaeger Pro. Some people question why we euthanize pigs in a trap. They somehow think that blood's gonna scare away other pigs. So I'll disprove this myth in our basic training segment. I'll also remove two groups of pigs from this property in the same night, in the same trap, using the most efficient process and products while teaching the art and science of integrated wild pig control. This week's mission will focus on removing a sounder from the southern part of the property in a food plot named Blowdown, which is 100 yards from the neighbor. The landowner told me that this food plot always receives rooting damage in the spring. My goal was to perform preventive maintenance by setting up a tripod feeder with an ice camera on a trail coming from the neighbor. Notice the covered shooting stand 60 yards behind the feeder. Selecting a shooting position downwind of the bait site is always important to mission planning. Our first bore finds the feeder on 28 April after dusk. He arrives 47 minutes later the next night. I'm waiting at the food plot on night number three as he arrives to the feeder. This should be the final result every time a pig follows the same pattern three nights in a row. Another boar finds a feeder on 4 May at 23.32. He arrives two hours earlier the next night at 21.28. I'm glad I arrived to the covered stand early as a boar shows up at 20.18. I'll introduce him to a 180 grain bullet as soon as he lifts his head. A high quality 640 by 512 resolution thermoscope performs flawlessly day or night. Again, I achieve the same result when he patterns three nights in a row. Two weeks later on 23 May, I received video intel of four young boars standing under the feeder. They are joined a few minutes later by three young gilts and everyone appears to be getting along. The dominant boar arrives a few minutes later and the behavior immediately changes. This is the only time I could count all eight pigs in the same camera frame. These three gilts and two boars remain at the feeder and feed together with no fighting for an entire hour. Sounder Intel verifies eight adults and no juveniles. Our performance standard is 100% success, which means we must remove all eight pigs expending the least amount of fuel, time, labor, and money. The same four boars arrive at dusk on 24 May and feed together without fighting for 20 minutes, then quietly depart. Three boars and a little gilt walk by the feeder at 6.30 in the morning. It's difficult to understand the dynamics of these eight pigs as they are all black. I bait five gallons of corn with a bucket to see if all eight will feed together. The first to arrive on 25 May are three boars and a little gilt. They feed for 25 minutes until the other group joins them at 2042. Fighting begins immediately as the three boars are not sharing any corn. Three gilts and two boars are left under the feeder at 2051 and feed for another hour. It appears the group of five travel together and the three boars travel together but all eight do not like to feed together. I arrive the next morning to build a mine trapping system. I am building a double gate trap enclosure because this configuration allows two entrances and two exits. Two fighting groups do not feel comfortable entering a trap enclosure with only one entrance as they cannot escape each other. Also, this strategy will help speed the conditioning process with eight mature adults feeding inside the trap enclosure. I test both gates using the Jaeger Pro mobile app. 
I hand bake corn with a bucket outside the right gate with a single line of corn through the gate threshold to the feeder. Then I continue a single line of corn through the left gate threshold. The three boars and little gilt arrive first at the right gate and quickly feed inside. The group of three gilts and two boars arrive at the left gate a couple hours later. The right gate footage shows six pigs feeding inside the trap enclosure and two are still outside. Then, the biggest boar runs four pigs away from the right gate entrance. The same scenario happens again a few minutes later when they return. Maybe the third attempt will be different. Nope. This boar is not sharing any corn with outsiders. I bait five gallons of corn with a bucket, but did not bait outside the gate thresholds. Let's see if keeping all bait inside the trap enclosure makes any difference to their behavior tonight. The group of five with three gilts and two boars arrive at the right gate first. They feed for 10 minutes until the boars show up. Only two of the three boars arrive and feed on the right, while the group of five feed on the left. The truce only lasts a few minutes until the dominant boar chases the group of five out the left gate. I did not bait with a bucket on 28 May, as I wanted to view their behavior with less corn on the ground. The group of five passed through the right gate shortly before midnight. The boars arrive a few minutes later and chase them out the opposite gate. I've had the same negative results with bait outside the trap, bait inside the trap, five gallons of bait, and only two pounds of bait. But this is not a baiting problem. It is an attitude problem from this posturing, testosterone-filled boar, and I have a very specific solution. To view the entire 30-minute episode, please tune in to RFD-TV. Our weekly show airs Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 8.30 p.m. Central, Channel 231 on Dish Network, and Channel 345 on DirecTV.